With the holidays quickly approaching, you may be struggling to find some items for the artist in your family or your friend group. So I decided to put together a little list of some items under $50 that you might find really cool for the artist in your family or friends. I decided to pick the one with the weirdest name for the first. Uh, this is the Jot Till You Drop. And although it has a kind of goofy name, it's actually really, really good at what it does. So I'm sure for those of you out there who are familiar with art that is generally done on the iPad, you may be familiar with the paper-like screen protector. And although that is a really good set of screen protectors you can get for your iPad, it is a little pricey. And this screen protector I found a few months ago and started using it on my iPad every day for six hours minimum per day. Cause I'm, you know, I do, I do art professionally. That's my main source of income. So I'm working constantly on the iPad and always drawing on it. And I'm still on my first uh, screen protector. I still have the second one in here. And for a two pack, this only comes in at 14 bucks. And that's a pretty good deal in my opinion. I have not had any problems with the screen protector. It has a nice rough matte surface that feels very paper-like, if you will. It's not too thick and not too thin. It reflects, it reflects very minimal light, you know, the matte surface. That's the nature of those. It kind of absorbs the light more than reflecting it like a mirror. And that's always great to have when you're trying to draw, especially in like direct sunlight or any like bright office lighting, anything like that. It's really, really good for that natural drawing experience. It was easy to install. And like I said, it apparently lasts a really long time under heavy abuse. So that takes the number one spot on our budget iPad accessories list. <laughs> And now, number two. And number two on this list is kind of, I would almost say legendary at this point for its reputation for iPad artists. And honestly, just artists in general who are generally trying to pack a little bit lighter in their setup, but they also wanna do digital art on the go. And I'm talking about the Logitech K380. Now this keyboard has been around for a while and that's for a very good reason. It has, a lot of features that are simple yet very useful for artists and really anybody who wants to do any daily driving type work on their iPad. There's not a lot of bells and whistles to this keyboard. It's just a simple on and off switch, a few Bluetooth function keys so you can switch between devices and an adequately sized width coming in at 10.98 inches, which is, which is if you're an iPad artist, you know if you're working with the 11 inch or the 12.9 inch like I am, iPad, that's like a perfect size to keep in a backpack or something when traveling with your iPad. And it's only 16 millimeters thick, so it's not really gonna add a lot of bulk to your setup. This keyboard only takes two AAA batteries to power it, and I have had this keyboard for close to six months, and I'm running on the original batteries still. I'm not sure exactly how long it's going to keep going, but I've heard claims that it lasts over a year, and honestly, at this point, I have no reason to disbelieve that. It has had no performance issues and it's really just a joy to use. The, it, the typing experience is nice enough for a keyboard of its size and cost. Coming in at only 30 bucks for the gray model and 40 for the pink and white. So all in all, this keyboard is honestly just a workhorse. It's practical. It doesn't have a lot of bells and whistles, but it's got it where it counts. So like I said, this keyboard is pretty much legendary as an iPad accessory for a reason. And at the price that it's currently sitting at, once again, $29.99 or $30, it's absolutely perfect and definitely a good gift for anybody in your family or friend group that uses an iPad generally at all. And I am not gonna drop that one on the floor. Okay, up, it, down, okay. Okay. And our number three device may look a little unfamiliar to some of you, but if you have been an artist for, you know, a, a, if you've been an artist working on a tablet for um, for a long enough amount of time, you've probably seen things like this, but they all they come in like all different forms, a, a bunch of different things. You can buy these from a lot of different places, but this one coming in from Parblo is actually one of the better ones that I've used. And I definitely felt like giving it a special recommendation on this list. So this is the Parblo PR100 stand. And for those of you that are unfamiliar, this is a stand that has a articulating, an articulating height. So you can go all the way from 15 to 90 degrees. So we're talking, you can go, you can go really low and really high, like straight up and down. I wouldn't recommend this. <laughs> 
Just by, I wouldn't recommend going all the way up really high just because I, I feel like that's just an accident waiting to happen. Maybe maybe don't go crazy and, and just and just stick uh, just to stick to something a little bit less extreme than 90 degrees. But if you have to, you can. But this stand I've had for probably about the past two years now. And on the Parbolo website, it's coming in at $45.99, which is actually the most expensive thing on this list. But honestly, for its durability, its articulation, and honestly, it's very like low profile. I would say this is one of the better tablet stands you can get. And even if you're not strictly an iPad artist, this supports tablets ranging from anywhere from 10 to 16 inches. So if you're working with a tablet in between those size ranges, whether they be portable or just strictly desk tablets like a Cintiq, honestly, this is a pretty good budget stand. Stands like this are really good at preventing artists from getting ailments such as like carpal tunnel and maybe even like some back issues from like leaning forward too far. So you can tilt the tablet up and keep your stance, your posture, or just like your wrist height, anything that you need to a lot more appropriate and a lot less, and it wears a lot less on your joints to be able to adjust your tablet to you instead of you adjusting to your tablet. So a stand like this coming in at like only $45.99, it's actually a pretty good value and I would highly recommend this. Damn. Okay, now time for our next item, and I... Where did I put it? Where did I put... Oh! Uh... Artist glove. That's our next item. So for anybody who's a tablet artist, whether that be on an iPad or once again something like a Cintiq, I would highly recommend having an artist glove like this. And it covers your ring finger and your pinky finger and it prevents any like moisture or sweat or anything from building up on your screen and it keeps your drawing a little bit smoother. So if you've ever tried drawing with just your bare hand on something, especially like a glass screen with no screen protector on it whatsoever, you'll notice your hand kind of like skirts across the screen and gets almost stuck in a way. It's very uncomfortable and unless you're drawing with your hand constantly floating off of the screen, you're always gonna have troubles with that. And when you use an artist glove, it gives your hand the ability to glide a little bit more smoothly on top of the screen surface, thus making it easier to make things like smooth lines and not rely on things like your wrist so much. It makes it easier to draw with like your elbow and your shoulder, which is a good way to prevent things like carpal tunnel. So highly recommend it. <laughs> this pack of gloves that I bought comes in at $12.75 for a two pack. And these are the large size. I've linked to the medium sizes down below, but it's easy to find the large and smalls if you need something like that. A little added bonus on top of these just being comfortable and easy to use and you know, the non-carpal tunnel uh, contribution is this nice little screen cleaning cloth actually on the side of the palm right here. So when you're using it and making big strokes on your screen, you're actually simultaneously cleaning your screen, which is, you know, a little, a little added bonus. Uh, not a big deal, but you know, it's there and it's nice to have it rather than not have it. So $12.75 for a two pack of the gloves, highly recommend. Let's move on to our next one. All right, and we are coming in for our last item, and this is a super important one. If you're an artist, especially an iPad artist, well, actually this last one, if you're not an iPad artist at all, uh, I guess you don't need these at all because it'd be kind of pointless. But Apple Pencil Tips, Apple Pencil Tips. These are 100% necessary if you are an iPad artist, and especially if you're using our number one item, the rough matte screen protector, you're gonna be going through these uh, a little more often than someone who is not using a screen protector at all, but obviously a screen protector does what it's supposed to do, it protects your screen. So I'd highly recommend using a screen protector. And then you would also need some extra Apple Pencil tips, especially depending on what type of artist you are. If you're someone who's a little more heavy handed when you draw, you're probably gonna go through these, uh, honestly, probably about once a month. But if you have a little bit of a lighter touch, you're probably only gonna need these maybe once every six months or so. But it's always good to have more on hand instead of being stuck with your last Apple Pencil tip and, oh no, I have to run out to the store or buy them online. These are a great gift for anybody who is an artist in your family or friend group who you know is an iPad artist. You can always use more of these as a backup or you might be saving them the trouble and they might need them immediately and just never got around to it. They come four in a pack at only $19.99 from Apple's website. It's really not a bad deal at all. And me personally, I wouldn't go for any low budget Apple Pencil alternatives that are on Amazon or eBay or anything. 
When you're gambling with something that's directly touching your screen, you're taking a pretty big risk by not knowing exactly what materials they're using, how strong those materials are, and what they'll do to your screen, even if you have a screen protector. Just go with the safe option, go with the Apple option, and, and these are a great gift once again for anybody in your family or friend group who you know uses an iPad with the Apple Pencil, even semi-regularly. You could always use more Apple Pencil tips just laying around, even if you're not going through them super crazy it's always useful. Me personally, again, like I said, I am a full-time artist who uses the iPad for six to eight hours a day minimum. And I go through the Apple Pencil tips maybe one every two and a half to three months. So that's a pretty good gauge. I wouldn't say that I'm particularly heavy handed when I draw, but I know I don't have a light touch. So it's somewhere in the middle. So a pack of four Apple Pencil tips will probably get you roughly through a year of drawing at minimum if you are a medium to slightly more heavy handed artist. So once again, highly recommended. Pick these up, pick them up. Eh, you can't go wrong. Okay. So guys, that was my list of five items under 50 bucks for the holiday season for iPad artists. And if there are any items that you've also found on the internet that you think could be useful or that you would like me to review, especially budget items. I really love budget items because I think they're super fun to try to like, you know, accessorize your iPad or find like new little gadgets or, or tools that can go with the iPad or, or, or stick onto the iPad, anything like that. If there's anything like that that you guys know about that I haven't reviewed yet, definitely let me know in the comments. I'll try to check it out and definitely make another video on that if I get it. But if you were having a hard time trying to find any items for your friends or your family members who are iPad artists, Hopefully this video helped you out a little bit. And I know that there are varying degrees of budgets. So that's why I always try to keep things a little bit on the lower end. And I don't want to go, you know, crazy high prices for these accessories. And a lot of them shouldn't be super highly priced. So I think the pricing is appropriate for a lot of these. And what was your favorite item out of these? And if you have any of these items already, I'd love to hear about it and what your favorite is. And also if you've had them for any long, particularly long length of time, I would love to hear about what the longevity of them is like, especially for things like like the tablet stand, the art gloves, things like that. And if you haven't gotten enough of my face on this platform, you can always catch me Monday through Friday, starting at 11 a.m. Los Angeles time on twitch.tv slash Kage Bonito. And I'm always hanging out over there, having a fun time, making art, chatting with you guys. So definitely catch me over there. And if you'd like to support me further, feel free to go to patreon.com slash Kage Bonito, where you get monthly rewards and various little goodies for helping me out over there, all the way from the lowest tier to the highest tier. Every little bit means a lot. And I can't thank you guys enough. That being said, thank you to all my current patrons without you i honestly couldn't do this and you're helping me out a ton you have no idea it really means a lot thank you so so much and for all my other socials and things like that you can find them in the links down below and also if you are a clip studio artist and you're trying to get some new brushes in your life feel free to visit my gumroad link down below and purchase my new brush pack where i'm constantly updating it constantly making improvements to it and adding new things and goodies definitely go check that out. And very last thing, I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for making us pass 1,000 subs over here on YouTube. We've been trying to do that for a while. It means so, so much. Thank you all for the support. It's amazing and I can't wait to continue making videos for you guys all the way up until our next thousand subscribers, okay? So thank you for being with me on this journey and I will continue making content that hopefully y'all enjoy. So I will see you next time. And if you like this video, make sure to give it a like. And if you dislike this video, I guess, well, well, nothing you can do about that anymore, I guess. But I will see you guys later. Thank you so much for the support. All right, peace.